You're right, guys. So, I manage a page, if you don't know, Bushcraft and Survival UK on Facebook. If you haven't been on there, go check it out. I was talking to some uh, people the other day about homemade waterproofing. Um, so, I checked some videos out on YouTube and done a bit of research online, and um, in the end, decided to try my own concoction because they cost too much if I'm honest the videos that I was looking at just I just thought nah but you know the American ones that go oh, you get this for a dollar in Walmart and then you go on Amazon and it's like a tenner <laughs> so um yeah I thought I could come up with something cheaper so um I've made this waterproofing I, I done some last night on the trousers that I'm wearing I'll get you in the picture as it is they are smothered in wax, absolutely smothered and completely waterproof. Um, so it went really well and it didn't really cost hardly anything at all comparatively when you work it out, what you're getting. Um, the only ingredient that I actually bought was some odourless white spirit and that's all I used in Make, doing the, the uh, trousers last night, that was literally it. So you get, I think that was about seven or eight quid, but like, I probably get seven or eight items of clothing out of that. So a pound each, can't go wrong. Uh, the only ingredients that you need, to show you what I've got here, literally candles. These are eight hour burn ones. If you're gonna buy some candles, I'd recommend getting them ones because you can use them for bushcraft. Every candle gives off as much heat, as much BTU as a person. So, um, might just be worth thinking about that. Maybe getting some, I don't know, it's up to you. <laughs> but um, yeah, and the white spirit, yeah, the other things you're gonna need, digital scales would really help if you've got some, and an old pot, that is all you need. And a paintbrush and a knife. You won't be able to use the paintbrush afterwards, so don't use a decent one, which this is, but that's all I could find at the time. Um, <clears throat> so what you wanna do, I worked out that it takes about six of these to do a pair of trousers, so I'm gonna do, which I said I'd do yesterday, in my video about clothing, I'm gonna waterproof this smock. Smock, smock, smock. So, the fact that you can see all the wax on it, I'm not really bothered about because it works too well and it's too cheap to grumble about really. But, um, so I've got, what have I got here? I've got eight, I've got eight candles here. All you want to do, so if you just split the sides open, cut one side of the wick, you can just pull the wick out. It doesn't matter if you get a bit of the wick in the, um, in the mixture. But just get the wick out. Yeah, if you just cut one next to the wick, you should sort of split down where the wick goes through the candle. And shouldn't be too far off, it's just popping out. Got the end of this now, I was like it's doing three or four goes yesterday. But, and the top candle split out now. But then we'll see the excellent candle splitter. I'm pretty sure I've got too much air, but for the sake of the video, I didn't want to uh, run out of candle in the video. So, once you've got those, get your scales, turn them on. Zero your scales. I've just remembered something that I haven't got for this. I need a measuring jug, two seconds. So I've got my measuring jug now. That's my uh, organization for you. But we've got 142 grams of candles in there. So what I need to do is melt them down. So I've got my little got my little burner set up here. So I'm gonna turn that on. Get the 
candles on. So there we go, that's pretty much all melted there. Now, I'm just gonna turn this back right down. Now, I'm going to put 142 grams of odorless white spirit in there. It's 100, 10, 20, nearly 30. 146, I think you might have guessed what's coming next. What I'm gonna do, take the wax, Pour the white spirit in. We will get some fumes coming off of this, but I've, I don't find they're that bad, personally. You can wear a mask if you want. The scale was out of the way. You, you ain't got to use a stir, you can just mix it in with a brush. You're going to be putting it on with the brush anyway, so. Yeah, get that all stirred in properly. Move that out of the way. Then get your garment, whatever it is that you're looking to waterproof. Let's start on the back first. And just paint her on. Easy as that. There is more to this though, so don't go forward into the next video. There is another process we need to do at the end of this. So, that's the first step done. Just seen a little bit of mist there, but just touch it out on there. And as I said, there's not much left on there, in there. And this uh, starting to harden now. So that just, literally, I just got away with that. And uh, that was the right amount of uh, candles it's the right amount of candles, it's the right amount of um, white spirit because it's the same amount. You can just go over a few bits. So, once you've got your uh, item of clothing completely soaked in wax and white spirit, and it's sitting all over it on the surface of it, we need to get that to embed into the material a bit more. So, I've got my hair dryer out. As you can see, I need one. No, it's my missus's one, I'm joking. But we just go over that full, full glass. And you'll see it start to liquefy again and run in to the actual material. 
you still get a lot of sitting on the top but it just really helps it it gets blown in as well obviously if you hold it nice and close it'll blow it into the fabric you know, sort of a 90 degree angle So, there we have it, completely impregnated with wax. Now I need to, what we need to do is just let this cool off a little bit because it's still warm and Max is, the wax is still molten so just cool it off and uh, the easiest way to do that, that is just leave it outside so let it cool off and see what it looks like. So that's been cooling off outside for a bit. This is what we've got. Rubbing it in actually stops all the wax marks. It actually rubs it into the material. There's a couple, but it is literally just uh, permeated into the material. And just to uh, show you, literally pouring straight off of it for like what did that cost one pound maybe one pound fifty tops it just shakes off it doesn't go into the material at all now for the value of money i think that is brilliant even the uh even the cardboard is waterproof now look it's not even sinking into the cardboard how good's that? So yeah, hope that's helped a few people in winter times. I'm definitely gonna be doing this to lots of clothing now. So yeah, great success. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Lots of other different type bushcrafty videos, tutorials coming up on my channel. So uh, please hit the like and the subscribe button, comment your thoughts, obviously. Uh, yeah, all right, hope you see you soon, ta-da.